How's it going kiddos? Welcome to BrainStage Chronicles. This will be the final part of a three-part video series helping you understand the basics, the items, traits, the enemy and how to counter them in Bad North Year 2 Edition. In this video we'll go over some extra tips and tricks that could help you in your Bad North campaign. Let's get right into it! When an enemy boat reaches the shore, ensure your troops are not standing on the nearest tile, as they will get knocked back by the enemy boat. However, if you have the sure-footed trait that grants significant resistance to knockback, stun and launch effects, the enemy boat knockback will not affect your units. Use your archers as efficiently as possible by placing them on the edge of the island you are defending, whilst trying to angle them to the side of enemy boats, thinning the numbers before reaching the shore. You can bring them back and micromanage an infantry group to protect them as soon as the enemy debarks. Your archers can one-shot weak, non-shielded units but can also deal damage and knock back the shielded enemies into the water. You can use slow motion by selecting a squad or pressing the spacebar on the keyboard, assuming you are playing on PC. This way you have plenty of time to plan a strategy to defend or better position your troops mid-fight. You can figure out how much gold you can earn from an island before starting the level, as can be seen on the map screen. The small square offers 1 gold, the medium rectangle 2 gold and the large square 3 gold. Combining the ring of command item with your archer squad is the most efficient use for this item, as the more archers you have in a squad the more arrows will one shot and knock back your enemies into the water. Depending on your starting build and campaign run, you can also equip, equip your infantry if you want to prioritize melee defense. Do not equip this item to your pikes as it won't give you much use, as the pikes work best in choke points and downhill attacks. Another excellent upgrade for your archers is the heavy weapon straight. This provides your archers with heavier damage and higher knockback, decimating your enemies before they even land on your island. A fantastic combo for your infantry squad is the ring of command with rousing speeches. Having a bigger squad with a faster replenishing rate could prove essential in some fights when encountering tougher enemies later in the game. Having the fleet of foot rate on your infantry can be helpful when facing brute archers. The increased movement speed can be used to maneuver your squad around the island, dodging shots and ambushing the enemy. Offering increased knockback to your infantry units can hold back brute archer shots and stand where ships land without breaking formation or being knocked over. But most importantly, when facing dual wielders you won't get knocked back from their leap attack. And that is it with the guys for Bad North. I also have a video coming out soon titled Beyond Bad North covering other similar content from the developers of Bad North and other similar themed content on different mediums such as music, film and literature to broaden your horizon in entertainment and media. Everything is in the description below, please join the conversation in the comments below if you want to contribute to this video and future content. Additionally, I will create a recommendation video and review video for Bad North on my other channel, The Keep. Do check the description below and the Bad North playlist for more similar content. Thank you for watching and see you soon in upcoming videos.